sometimes it's hard to allow yourself to be held. And I don't mean by a person. Today in meditation, I really let myself trust and fall back. Fall back knowing that source would catch me. And it wasn't easy to let go. I have a lot of faith. But as humans, there's that last minute, like, I don't know if you ever did that trust exercise where everyone stands behind you, you close your eyes, and you fall backwards, trusting that everyone's going to catch you. And even when it's people that you know will catch you, as humans, there's usually a teeny hint of hesitation. And there was with me this morning, too. But my, just like, so I came back from vacation and one of the things that I did to really push myself is during our whitewater rafting trip, which was intense on its own, I jumped off a cliff into the rushing river. Now I'm not the strongest swimmer and my visions of being carried back down the river were frightening to me, but I just wasn't going to let that stop me, you know? And so I jumped in faith. I jumped in faith. And so the, the swoon was a little more subtle <laughs> this morning, but it's the same kind of faith that is required to really allow yourself, first of all, allow your body to completely relax, relax in meditation. Trust that it's okay for your mind to really get still. Because, you know, I know how people say, oh, meditation is so hard for me. My mind doesn't stop running. I would offer that that's keeping you safe. When you've got a million tasks and you can't get off the rabbit wheel, I get it. I totally get it. We all have a million things to do every single day. But I offer that you give yourself permission to get off that wheel. And it's a little scary because it's kind of like having the TV on the background all the time. You get used to that background noise, the monkey and the lists going all the time. And I'm asking you to get a little quieter than that. Because that kind of quiet is required to really sink all the way in. And so this morning, and then the reward is that this morning, I really allowed myself that, um, that chance, that chance to let source energy hold me and it did I felt my body my literal physical body felt completely supported and my body felt heavy and weightless at the same time it was a very impossible to describe feeling And it was really beautiful. It was really allowed me a really deep connection with my own higher self, my soulful self, and the source that I connect to that's bigger than me. It was a still time. And I don't know if this has happened to you too, where it's not sleep, but you drop in. So there are a couple points during this meditation where I felt myself drop in. And sometimes you drop in and you kind of, it's not falling asleep, but you get so deep, you kind of come out of it, not with a start, but you're like, whoa, you know, this, I would drop in and then I would slowly be supported back up. I drop in and I'd slowly be supported back up. So I'm, I'm still feeling a little bit conscious of the stillness and and um, what is being kind of whispered to me and and those whispers don't need to be audible i would offer that the the knowledge and that the messages that you get during meditation sometimes don't have a form they don't have a meaning that you can string together in words sometimes it's just an energy that comes through maybe it's an image but sometimes it's not even as formed as that but you are getting an infusion. You're getting a download and you're getting a gift. So stay with it. And if meditation is a challenge for you, start with two minutes. 
Increase it 30 seconds every day. I climbed a mountain 15 seconds at a time. I pulled plank, I did 15 seconds every day. Any cardio I was doing, I did 15 seconds. That's it, 15 seconds. I think in meditation you could push yourself a little longer. Try 20. Start at 10. 10 seconds. And increase it every day. And allow yourself that luxury of quiet. And then allow yourself that gift and luxury of knowing you're not the only one that has to hold you up. That you are being supported by so much. And the more you commune with that, the more direct the feeling of support feels. And I really wish that for you today.